one, two, three. Hey everybody, this is New Era here, bringing you a quick tutorial on adding some realistic camera shake to your cinematic scene. Now, let me first say that this is corresponding to my cinematic scene pack. Um, the link will be in the description at, at the top right of the video. Uh, you should check it out. I'll record at 720p at 60fps. Uh, so hopping right into it, uh, you're going to want a quick scene. I'll get one from my raid pack. A uh, nice one of these statues should be about right. And you're going to want to bring that into your project area of After Effects, which should be open by now, hopefully. Uh, you're going to want to bring that into the composition, whatever that really is. Uh, make that into a composition, sorry. Uh, I have a habit of checking the composition settings. Uh, as you can see, everything's at about right, 60 FPS. 720p. Now this is corresponding um, also with my tutorial on Buju camera tracking, uh, Buju to After Effects to be uh, completely exact. So in general, this should be motion tracked. Say you have this motion tracked, uh, you know some text right here, you know around there, making it look real cool. Uh, you're gonna want to pre-compose this, or everything you have here in general uh, with the text. With all the text and everything should be in there. So you're going to want to press P while it's highlighted. To and um, now this is really going to be on the part that you want to shake or have that realistic shake. So in general, it would be beginning to end on a cinematic scene, or for a trick shot, maybe it would be like right before the hit marker or right after the hit marker. So you just want to have the part that you want shaking in between these two points. So for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just gonna put a quick one near the end and near the beginning what you're gonna to want to do is highlight those you're gonna to want to go to window you're gonna to want to go to wiggler and uh, fit somewhere fit wiggler somewhere in your After Effects interface now wiggler is free with After Effects I'm sure you know that already hopefully uh, you don't have to download it so it should be in the window area uh, you're gonna to want to keep this on spatial path uh, smooth or jagged. I recommend smooth. You might want to mess around with stuff to be a little more independent. Uh, all dimensions in all independently. So I really don't mess with those ones. Now getting to this part, uh, you're really going to want to keep magnitude higher than your frequency. Hopefully. Uh, I keep it at 10. And I keep maybe frequency about 3 you know it depends I used to like to keep it low five is about the max you know after five it gets a little crazy so first going over first before I go over that I'm gonna explain what frequency is and magnitude frequency is gonna be how many times it shakes and magnitude is gonna be how strong it shakes that's pretty straightforward uh, so just moving along with these settings having these two um, highlighted uh, we're gonna click apply and it's automatically going to make keyframes of it's basically going to be moving around the frame now right off the bat you can see that when the screen is moved uh, I mean when the frame is moved uh, there are some black edges uh, on this it's transparent so if you rendered this out just as is it would be black and it would be pretty ugly it would just look like your screens move around like an idiot so what you're going to want to do to make it look like it's actually moving in the game is you're going to want to go to highlight your pre-composed file you're going to want to click S to bring out the scale and now what you're going to want to do here is you're going to basically keep this at 100 hopefully should be at 100 uh, and you're going to want to add your magnitude to your scale so for example here we have 10 so this is going to be an obvious 110 now that's going to solve all your problems on you know getting the edge out there uh, this is on third so the quality is much better than that so that should solve everything uh, now for example say you get a little crazy go to 1520 magnitude you're just going to go to 120 scale or 115 scale very simple so that's about it um, Check out my motion track tutorial and my cinematic pack found to the right of the video, top right. Um, that's about it. Um, 
drop a like, uh, subscribe if you want for more content, and uh, and hope this helped you out.